أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أتأمرون الناس بالبر وتنسون أنفسكم وأنتم تتلون الكتاب أفلا تعقلون رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم قرآن ويقلي Today in the 44th ayah of Surah Al-Baqarah, from it I wanted to share just a couple of small points with you. Allah Azza wa Jalla is talking to the Israelites and He gives them a bunch of advice in the beginning. And this advice is actually, you can consider it positive reinforcement. Part of it is, أَتَأْمُرُونَ النَّاسَ بِالْبِرْ Do you tell people or command people or suggest people to do good things or to goodness? وَتَنْسَوْنَ أَنفُسَكُمْ While at the same time you neglect or forget yourselves, وَأَنْتُمْ تَتْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ While you're the ones, in fact, reading the book. You're the ones engaged in a reading of the book. Now this reading of the book I'll come back to in a minute. But that, let's end the ayah, أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ then, then don't you think, don't you apply your intellect. Obviously the base meaning of the ayah is that you are telling people to do something good and you forget about yourself, you don't do it yourself. How can this be? But let's dig a little bit deeper for a few minutes. First and foremost, Allah Azza wa Jal adds the irony, وَأَنْتُمْ تَتْلُونَ الْكِتَابِ You're the ones reading the book. The idea here being when anyone reads the book of Allah, whether it's the Torah from back in the day, now it's the Quran, when you read the book of Allah, then the one that you should be thinking of is first and foremost yourself. I should be thinking of myself. I shouldn't be concerned with looking in the book of Allah for ammunition against somebody else first and foremost. Or, you know, this might make a good speech. Or this, this ayah I might be able to use to give advice to somebody else. The first recipient of advice from the book of Allah is myself. So Allah says, you give pe other people, very quickly you give people advice. You know sometimes people, for example, they, they recite the ayat of Qur'an, they study or they even listen to lectures and talks. And they only listen to it to write down a whole bunch of points that they're going to be using to give a speech. Which is okay, so long as when you wrote all of those things down, the first reason you wrote them down was it benefited you. And after it benefited you, after it had an impact on you, you say to yourself, you know what? it's probably good that I share this with someone else. And if you don't, and I don't have that process, then this just becomes an empty theatrical performance. In other words, you're just learning this religion to just teach it to somebody else, and you're learning the Book of Allah just to say some words to somebody else, maybe to impress them, maybe even out of concern for them, but even concern for them is empty if it doesn't begin with concern for yourself, and in my case, concern for myself. Which is why Allah says, أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ Why don't you think? And that ayah speaks very, it's, it's loud to me, in that every time I study Qur'an, that afala taqilun should ring in my head. Like, I'm reading this, I'm studying this, but first and foremost, it's supposed to be for myself. You know, sometimes we, we learn a lot, but we don't really think about why we're learning it. And we have to remind ourselves and refresh in ourselves that we're learning this, every single word of it, every single ayah, of it, every single hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for one purpose and one purpose alone. First and foremost, to benefit our own selves and then anybody else. أَتَأْمُرُونَ النَّاسَ بِالْبِرْ وَتَنْسَوْنَا أَنفُسَكُمْ Last bit of advice on this ayah, just a reflection, is not just about the individual, it's actually even about us as a people, meaning us as an ummah, the entire Muslim community. If we are so quick to judge other nations, other people, other countries, you know, entire cultures, we're, we're just Easily, it's easy for us to just throw them under the bus and say, all those people are like this, all those people are like that. And it's very interesting that we do that and we don't really take the same level of scrutiny and point it at our own selves. And interestingly enough, I've even seen when Muslims talk about themselves, they say, well, we've been influenced by the kuffar, that's why we're so bad. Their negative influence has hit us. You can't blame others for your corruption. You and I, we are responsible for how we carry ourselves before Allah. And we're not going to be able to turn to anybody else or turn to point at anybody else before Allah and say, you know what, Ya Allah, it's not our fault, it's their fault, they corrupted us. That's not going to fly before Allah Azza wa So I pray that as individuals we learn to be introspective when we study the Qur'an and even as a people, as a culture, we learn to be introspective when we engage the Book of Allah and it makes us truly think about what the priorities are. Barakallahu li wa lakum, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.